Hey everybody, TJ Miller along with Aaron Franzine. And this is an introduction into our series about profitability and earning more money for your business. So the approach we wanna to take today is to run some tests and just simply show you the results of our tests. We're gonna take an objective approach to this and show you a few things and let you decide for yourself. So TJ, let's get to it. Next, we want to talk about moisture content in your substrate. How this can save you money and increase your profits is hopefully avoiding callbacks and repairs you might have to go do on a job. But what I want to show you today is one dry panel. I'm going to spray this panel and we're going to allow that water to just kind of soak into the wood. And then this middle one, we're going to spray half of it with water and leave the other half dry and show you the results of that. Here we go. Let that soak in for a minute and then we'll show you the moisture content results in just a second. Andy has our moisture meter here. And one quick thing, this particular one is a two prong moisture meter and it doesn't register anything below a 5% moisture content. So let's test the dry side. And you'll see we're likely below 5%, so it's not registered. Now let's try the side we sprayed. We've let this soak in for a few minutes. 24.5% is outside of the specs on almost all manufacturers. Quick note on that is always follow your manufacturer specifications and recommendations with moisture content. At a glance, these panels look just fine. We've let them kind of set up for a few minutes now, but after further investigation, you look closely here, you can pretty easily see this was the 100% wet panel. I think we were getting like 26% moisture content. You can see how this is completely pulled away. Even, even on the studs, when Andy picture framed it, he hit the studs first. You can see that pretty evidently. Moving over to the 50-50 to the panel, remember this is the dry side, this was the wet side. You can see this seems to be adhered pretty well. We're gonna try to pull this off in a second, but you can see right here, we have more pocketing. You can see there's no adhesion here whatsoever. This comes out relatively easily. Um, let's look at this middle one here. So right here we had some pocketing. So I'm still able to pull this out with my hand. And as I get further down in it, you can see that it's pulling away and it's gonna be pulled away all the way down this panel. So this side, let's just see what we do. So look at the adhesion. There's a clear difference here. Pocketing, no pocketing. And then over here, we'll just quickly pull it away. This one was a completely dry panel. So this one's fully adhered. That's the difference that you'll find. So the difference between adhesion, this one is the high moisture content. You can see that there's pocketing and there's off ratio stuff going on, uh, prematurely cured isocyanate and just a poor adhesion overall. In my other hand, this is the dry substrate. So you can see it's got good color it's adhered very well. So there's a very big difference between these two and you don't want to be caught on a job site spraying against the wet moisture substrate, the high moisture content. Watch our videos, like our videos, call your local IDI rep if you have any other questions and thanks for watching.